Hey everyone, Goose Shoot here back with another Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel video and today we're taking a look at the best anti-floodgate cards that you can play in Master Duel. So in my previous video we talked about the best floodgate cards that you can play on your deck if your deck allows you to play those cards and those are cards that are pretty um in a way toxic and really difficult to remove and it annoys a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh players because whatever format of Yu-Gi-Oh any deck with a floodgate is always a problem so to give you a decent solution uh let me introduce you to some of the best floodgate removal cards in the game these these are also um some of these cards are also spell and trap removal generic spell and trap removal and some of them are also monster removal just in case which is pretty decent so there are a couple of uh anti floodgate cards here and that's pretty cool let's get started with the first one so this one is dino wrestler pancratops so dino wrestler pancratops is a one card removal and it's a quick effect so this is this can be summoned if your opponent has more monsters than you so this can be your very first special summon or even second if your opponent has two monsters at least it's a really decent card and you can activate the quick effect by tributing itself and targeting one card your opponent controls and destroying it so it allows you to pop one card on your opponent's back row field zone or even on your monster zone so this can respond to cards like zombie world this can respond to cards like skill drain even <clears throat> because skill drain needs the the monster face up to be negated and dino wrestler pancratops uh tributes itself so it dodges the face up negate that skill drain has and it can pop skill drain which is really handy something you want to keep in mind always when you're facing some deck with a skill drain so Pretty good, Dino Wrestler Pancratops. And apart from that, it's a 2600 attack monster. So you can actually beat over something. You can actually destroy two cards with Pancratops. One by battle and one by its effect. So always really handy. Next up, we have Harpy's Feather Duster. This is very generic spell and trap removal. So you can run one of these in a deck, especially even if your deck decides to go first, just in case you want to have extra um spell and trap removal or just one generic one that you can um play at any time you want so harpy's feather duster destroys all spells and trap cards your opponent controls always handy to have and pretty good next up we have lightning storm lightning storm is uh works like a regeki that destroys all attack position monsters and can work as a harpy's feather duster so depending on the scenario, you can remove um, pretty much most kinds of floodgates with this. And this is pretty effective. Just as long as you don't have face-up cards. So this is better if you play this card first or you have uh, cards on the field, but they're all set. So that's one thing you have to keep in mind when using Lightning Storm. You can't use this while other cards are face-up. And this is still pretty powerful because you can remove... Um, the floodgate monsters i mentioned and you can also remove all the generic floodgates maybe except anti-spell which we'll get to in a while next up we have the classic mystical space typhoon so this is a quick play spell where you can target one spell and trap card on the field and destroy it so one of the best things about using quick play spells as removal for floodgates is that if uh, your opponent, for example, activates a an anti-spell, you can chain a quick play spell like Mystical Space Typhoon to destroy it before it resolves its effect. So keep that in mind if you're using a quick play spell card. And this is pretty good. This is a rare. This is an old school card that has been used for like a very long time in Yu-Gi-Oh! And... Until now, it's still pretty decent. Sure, there are other cards that are better. The ones I'll mention are a bit better than this. But if you're on a budget, this is pretty good. A pretty good start. Next up is Twin Twisters. This is the um upgrade to Mystical Space Typhoon. And this is a quick play spell where you can discard one card to target up to two spell and trap cards on the field and destroy them. So 
you can pop two back row or pop one so depending on the scenario so this is basically very very versatile spelling trap removal and if you need something like that this is pretty effective and twin twisters can also trigger or can also allow you to set up your graveyard because discarding one card um that one card can be something that can extend your combo or even start your combo from the graveyard that's really cool so twin twisters is pretty good but if you're a deck that doesn't really want to discard too much cards yeah this is a bit risky so you can play other cards like uh duster and lightning storm another quick play spell is cosmic cyclone so cosmic cyclone um has you pay 1000 life points to banish one spell and trap card on the field so basically this is a another mystical space typhoon upgrade so instead of destroying it it banishes it and some spell and trap cards activate their effects when they're sent to the graveyard um so that's really cool and if your opponent uses lord of the heavenly prison to protect their floodgates um using cosmic cyclone will bypass that destruction protection because it will banish the card itself so that's pretty cool pretty cool to have also yeah it's a it's at the cost of 1000 life points not too much not too painful so you can just uh, run this on almost any deck and next one we have unending nightmare so this is one trap card that's pretty interesting it's pretty underrated as well so unending nightmare has you pay 1,000 life points to target one face-up spell and trap card on the field and destroy it. And you can activate this once per chain, so you can activate this multiple times in a turn, just as long as you have enough life points. So, Unending Nightmare plays to a lot of the floodgates because um, stuff like Anti-Spell and Secret Village of the Spellcasters uh, specifically prevent spell cards from being played properly. So Unending Nightmare bypasses that by being a trap card that destroys other trap cards and spell cards. So that's pretty interesting. And you can run this on a slower grind heavy strategy. Maybe you can run this in uh, an Eldritch Riot or maybe Trap Tricks. Or, But if you're looking for a trap card that can destroy other trap cards, this is pretty good. And lastly... We have um, Nightmare Phoenix. So Nightmare Phoenix is a generic Link 2 monster where, you know, you only need two monsters with different names. And if this card is Link Summon, you can discard one card and target one spell and trap card your opponent controls to destroy it. There's a bonus effect when it's co Link, you draw one card, but that's, uh, that's not something that really comes up as much compared to the other stuff here. So Nightmare Phoenix is generic removal and a generic Link 2 allows you to link climb for some decks so you can go into nightmare phoenix to go into maybe Celine or nightmare unicorn and go into access code so pretty reliable link link to monster and being able to target one and spell one spell or trap card without needing a spell or trap card to remove another spell or trap card is pretty good so decent nightmare phoenix is a really good floodgate removal and i guess that's it for the best floodgate removal cards these are all cards that can fit in most decks as much as possible so these are ge very generic and you can put this in any deck that you're playing in master duel and if you're encountering too many floodgates this is a these are the best ways to counter them and um take the fight to them and get gain the upper hand so that's pretty good now, if you like this video, um, be sure to leave a like. You can share this video. That would be really cool. And you can subscribe if you're interested in more Master Duel content. That also helps my channel grow. And if you have any recommendations for Floodgate removal cards, you can leave it in the comment section below. That would be always welcome for all the players here, including me. So, I guess that's it for today's master duel video and i hope you find something useful here i hope you enjoyed this but um i'll see you in the next video so until next time so goodbye guys